What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Aviation VPS. Uh, today we have a very exciting video for you guys. This is massive unboxing number one for the channel. I know it took quite a break there, and during that break of about a year and a half, maybe two years, uh, I did stop collecting. So most of the models in this video are just like me catching up with all the stuff I missed. But yeah, I'm gonna try to keep this video as short as I can, but I think in total we have 26 models to get through. So yeah, without more talking, let's get straight into it. All right, so I figured we'd just start with this package on top. So this is one of two orders from the Alaska Company store. Got both these models with a great price. So uh, first we'll get into the Alaska Q400. So yeah, here is the model. Um, slightly tail heavy, that's okay. So right here, just a quick review. We have the O1 boarding door, uh, turbo props looking good, all that looking good. There's a nice view down the middle. Left side. And then the bottom, the Gemini Jets logo. I didn't realize this, but there is no stand, like you can't, there's no stand hole. You can't put a stand on this model, which is kind of interesting, but I guess it's so small, that'd be kind of hard to do. But yeah, so there's our first model of the Unbox. As you can see there, this is the cargo configuration. So we got L1 door, and then the first cargo door. Then, I mean, there's really not much happening here. The air cargo livery with Chester on the tail. Here's a look down the middle. I'm not sure what's going on with the landing gear there. They kind of uh, flare out, but that's all right. Can't really tell when it's on the ground. There's the other side of the aircraft. And then the back. So yeah, overall, really good model. I heard like from lots of people that this was a good model. So when I saw it came back in stock, I figured I'd pick it up. So yeah, there is the first box out of the way. All right, so next year we have an order from Panda Fox Toys. All right, so we'll start off with the JSX. So here's your box. All that good stuff. So um, pretty cool livery by JSX. I've never seen one of these in person, but I have seen plenty of pictures. It is a really good and cool livery. So you got the side there. Down the middle with that stripe looking really good. And then the left side. The bottom of the aircraft. Looking even better. Lots of engine detail. That's something I really like about this model. And then we have your tail. So yeah, really solid model by Gemini Jets. Uh, definitely recommend this one if you haven't picked it up yet. Because it is a great looking model. So here we have the left side of the aircraft. Classic American livery. Really cool detail on the wing. I do really like that. And also on the nose here, all these little logos. They look really good, especially when you have the camera out looking up close. Here is your look down the middle. And then the other side of the aircraft. Why isn't it focusing? Okay, there we go. Uh, registration N7065K. And then finally the tail here. Anyways, another really solid model by Gemini, I gotta say. Really good mold. I don't know, it looks like the landing gear on the front slightly tilted, but that's fine. So, yeah. And while speaking of American, let's get into the ERJ-175. Classic Gemini box, as always. Then we have the packaging here, and then the model itself. So, first impressions is it's actually really good. I remember a few years ago when they were having a lot of problems with like the mold and quality control on this specific aircraft. 
but this one actually looks really good. So here we have the side. American Eagle titles. Operated by Envoy. So yeah, looking really good. Other side of the aircraft. And then finally the rear. Then here we have the belly of the aircraft. Some really good detail on the bottom there. I like how they put in the time to take that. We've even got an antenna on the bottom here. So that's really cool. A uh, really solid model by Gemini. I really do like this one. No complaints so far. Some really great models. So yeah, let's move on. All right, so here we have our next box. This is the second order from Panda Fox Toys. Uh, I didn't see these models at first and didn't think they'd be useful for my collection. Then the second go around, I did. So we have our discount codes. So first aircraft here, we have um, U.S. Air Force. I'm just going to say the 757, but it's the Boeing C-32B. Uh, this is just a really cool model. I was looking at the pictures of it and it just looked absolutely outstanding. I also don't have... All my NG aircraft are 737s, so it's going to be really cool to have something besides that. Then our second aircraft, one I'm very excited for, and I don't know why I didn't pick up at first, but the Southwest 737 MAX 8. So yeah, I'm really excited to get into these. Okay, so that is it for the second order, and yeah, we'll get into this. So let's get first started off with the Southwest 737 MAX 8. So your classic Southwest Gemini box, where I, um... In a slightly different box. I don't know the reason for, honestly. But um, here's the back of the box. Computer generated image. Let's get straight into it. I am really excited about this model because I'm a big Southwest fan, and I really do like the Max Eight. So there is the aircraft. Get the box out of the way, and we'll get into the review. So, wow really stunning looking um this is my first max 8 aircraft as well anyways so here we have the nose l1 boarding door and the little southwest heart that's a really cool detail that i'm glad they do looks really good but um after that we have our little details on the roof here southwest titles we have our engines Looking really good with the spikes on the back. I really like that about the Max 8. We have our winglets. Uh, our first antenna, Wi-Fi box, second antenna, and then registration, N8730Q. And yeah, that's that side of the craft. In the back here, we have the APU. Here's a little side look. Then the other side of the aircraft. This is a really good model, I just gotta say. I really like it. I can't tell the nose gear might be a little high, but I'm not I'm not sure about that. Um bottom of the aircraft looking great. Lots of detail there. Really like how the uh, southwest colors just come and like blend together right there. Yeah, very solid model. I'm gonna give this one Really good rating by Gemini. So good job. And here we go with the uh, U.S. Air Force C-32B by NG Models. So here we have our box. Really cool box art. Love how it's just that simple black and white. And you just get that military feel from it. And the sides of the box. Generated image. Looking really cool. So really excited to get into this one. As once again, it's my first... Aircraft besides a 737 from NG model. So, pull it out of the box here. It's really cool how we have the uh, foam packaging. So we'll pull off the top there. And here is the model. We can get it out here. Nice. There we go. Wow. First reactions is just wow. Um, it is a pretty basic aircraft livery wise. But, um, definitely a cool, cool little details around the aircraft. So, we'll get into the review here. 
first we have the nose of the aircraft. And then we move along. Also, really nice rolling landing gear. Just notice that. So, uh, other one boarding door with amazing detail. Just looking absolutely fabulous. U.S. Air Force titles. And then our second door. Then right here in the engine details, it's really cool how they have little lines through it. Wings looking good. Really good, actually. Then right here we have our dome. And then our second antenna. And then here we have a logo. And then the registration. And then the white tail, which I'm not sure how good the camera will pick it up. But if you look at the tail there, the amount of detail is just outstanding. Not sure if it'll focus. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it looks really good. Here's a look down the aircraft. On the side. Once again, that tail just looks really great. Also, the cockpit windows. They really stand out as well. And then finally, the bottom of the aircraft. Looking really nice. So, yeah. Very solid model. Landing gear is really cool, too. Especially how good it rolls. But yeah, so there's the US Air Force C 32B by NG Models. Alright, getting on to our next box right here. This one's gonna be a quick one, it's just one model. But we have the, this is from Prairie Diecast in Canada. Uh, they were the cheapest ones that I could find that had this model in stock. And this is the Allegiant A319 in the older livery. Uh, this is also for the airport project I have coming up, which y'all which y'all will see very soon. Or you can actually see right now if you go follow my Instagram, which I will leave a link in the description below. But yes, so here is our box. Um, pretty basic, classic, Aero Classics box. Uh, nothing really special going on here. Yeah, there's your box. There's the back with the uh, aircraft family lineup. Yeah, let's get, let's get into it. I'm really excited for this one as this is only my second Aero Classics model. And I'm typically. I think their models look really great, so let's get into it. So, yes, Allegiant A319 in the old colors. Looking really good, actually. I think the coloring might be a tad bit dark, which is pretty common with Aero Classics, but that's really okay. It still looks very good. So we have right here, good look at the aircraft. Starting off at the front, cockpit, uh, L1 boarding door, your Allegiant titles, which, yeah, I mean, I think they are a little bit dark, but hey, I'm not complaining. Oh, uh, our engines. And then travel is our deal titles. And then registration N302 in V. And then our tail. This engine is pointed down just a tad bit, but it still looks very well. Uh, right here we have our cargo doors on both sides. Uh, really good detail on the tail again. So yeah, and then in the back here we have our APU. And then get a view at the bottom of the aircraft. Not as much detail as the other companies, but definitely still lots of detail there. It's looking really great. Really good model by Aero Classics. If you're looking for an Allegiant in the old livery, I would definitely recommend this model. Uh, I'm gonna go get my... This is the Gemini Jets Allegiant A319. And I mean, as you can see there, the coloring is quite drastically different. And I mean, overall, just Gemini has a little bit more detailing. But I mean, it's definitely still a solid model. So yeah, anyways, we'll move on to the next. Alright, so next here is definitely one of the more exciting models of this video. I'm personally very excited for this one. I was up one night pretty late. And I decided to go on eBay and check for Southwest models. And I found this for $40 plus 15 shipping. And so I just had to pick it up. This is the Southwest 
2015 release 737-700. Once again from eBay. And so it was a seller I had bought from, so I was fairly confident that it would come come good and in good condition like posted. But uh, yeah. So this is the oldest thing that's in my collection now. So we have our Southwest 737-700, the Southwest logo. It's the side of the box, top of the box, other side, and the back of the box. So as I mentioned, this is the 2015 release. So yeah, let's get into it. So here we have the model inside the packaging. Here is the model itself looking fabulous. So we got the camera situated here. Point it down. So there is the model. So overall looking really nice. Maybe a little bit tad bit dark, but um I mean it it's not really too noticeable. But here we have the front of the aircraft. So we have our cockpit windows. Our L1 boarding door, slightly tail heavy, but not to the point where it gets too annoying. Uh, our southwest heart, okay, maybe so. <laughs> uh, nice details along the side of the aircraft here. And then we have our antenna on the top and Wi-Fi dome. Uh, on the wing here, we have the emergency exit arrows pointing down. Our registration in the back here. Uh... November 708SW with the American flag and the back of the aircraft. Look from the back, then the side. Uh, detail on the winglets looking really nice as well. Thought I mentioned that. Same with the engines, looking really nice there. And then the bottom of the aircraft. Wow, that is definitely the highlight of this model. The bottom here with the detail wise. All of it just comes together really nicely. Definitely glad I picked up this model. It's looking really nicely. So yeah, very exciting model here. And thank you to the seller on eBay, as this was just a great deal. But yeah, let's keep moving along. So next up here is my order from RM Model Store. This one has quite a story. So I actually ordered this August 5th and just received it four days ago from filming which should be the day i upload it if not the day after but um so many problems with this uh it's really a shame because i enjoyed buying from rm store but definitely won't be anymore due to so many problems with them it took forever to actually receive these models but i have the allegiant a319 and the allegiant a320 here uh by panda models that box art is looking so great just a great job by them. And as well in here we have the NG model American 737-800 in the new livery. And so that looks really nice as well. And then something I'm extremely excited for is the JC Wings. Um, GSE. I don't know where the box went to this. So that's nice. But um, yeah, really cool. GSE pack right there. Definitely going to be doing a good review on that. So yeah, let's get into it. So I figured we get started here with the American 737-800. So, um, I only... I do not actually have an American 737 in my collection right now. So I definitely wanted this model when I saw it on there. Here's the back of the box. NG's box art is just spot on. So there's your box. Then we'll open it up here. Here's the model itself. So yes, this is looking gorgeous. Alright, so here's the model. Uh, first, first reaction is just great. Sometimes Gemini Jets and Aero Classics get that weird like sparkle on their American models, but NG has nailed the coloring here. So right here we have our cockpit windows and the nose. And then right here we have the landing gear with the 
I can't quite make out what it says, but really cool detail on the landing gear doors there. L1 boarding door, our One World logo, American titles. Our emergency exits, first antenna, Wi-Fi dome. Uh, looks a little crooked, maybe just a tad, but that's completely fine. Still looks great. And then our second antenna, now right here with the tail of the aircraft, along with the registration in 306NY. And the back of the aircraft with our APU. Here's the view from the back. Really great detail with the emergency exit arrows and the winglets. The winglets look really cool on this model. I really like that American did that. Um, they do look kind of weird how like American made them like centered. I almost wish they would have taken up the whole winglet, but no complaints there. It's still a great livery. Uh, actually, our antenna is very loose here. Probably gonna have to glue that back in. Um, work on that another day. But yeah, here's the bottom of the aircraft. Look at that. Great detail. Uh, absolutely beautiful aircraft overall. Really happy with this model. And will definitely be a good addition to my American collection. So yeah, moving on. Get that out of the way. And next up we have the two Allegiant models. Uh, on the left there we have the A319 in the new livery. On the right the A320. Uh, box art looking really nice. Uh, here we have the side and the back with some information, the bottom of the box. So yeah, first we'll get into the A319. Uh, yeah, so we can get the box open here. A lot of the airports I plan on doing do have a pretty decent Allegiant presence. So I did think it was necessary to pick up these aircraft. Especially the A320, as I've been needing the A320 for quite some time. So here we have the A319. get into the review on that so um really nice really nice detail and mold by panda models uh starting off here we have the cockpit windows l1 boarding door some nice gear detail there good looking engines something gemini sometimes lacks uh we have our allegiant titles emergency exit arrows uh Registration and three three uh four and V and then our rear exit there. The new livery looks absolutely amazing on these aircraft. It's just really cool. Uh crooked landing gear on the left side. But uh that's alright. Still looking good. On the right side here we have our cargo doors on the front and back. Overall a really nice model. Uh not no big complaints here. Really good model. So, out of that out of the way. Let's get into the A320. The box is pretty much the same. Nothing really too special there. But uh, here's the model. I watched a lot of reviews on these aircraft before I actually purchasing them because I wanted to make sure I wasn't, wasn't wasting any money here. Part of me wanted to wait till NG released them, but these are actually really cool models. So here we have the A320. Really, really nice model. It's just something about the A320 that I really like, and it really stands out to me. Let's put this guy away for a minute, and here is the A320 by Panda Models. So a quick review. Cockpit windows, door, Allegiant titles. Winglets looking very nice compared to the uh, fence tip winglets in the A319. So those look really cool. Our registration in 255 NV in the tail of the aircraft. And flip it around here. We have same thing pretty much except cargo doors. Uh, engines looking really nice. Really, really good. Good quality. Um. I've saw some reviews where they came broken, but mine are completely fine. 
Then we have some really nice detail at the bottom here. Great job by Panda Models. So yeah, that is the Allegiant A319 and A320. I'll get the uh, Aero Classics here. I mean, obviously they're different liveries, but just to like compare the uh, colors. It's, it's not bad. It's definitely not bad. Not really complaining. So yeah, I'm just going to keep these aircraft out here for a second. Because we're going to get into the JC Wings GSE pack. So I'm trying to beef up my GSC collection because it really does add an element to your airport. I thought this was really cool because it came with the jetways. So here are the two jetways that it comes with. Looking really good. I mean, obviously not to the quality of Gemini jets because they just they're really good jetways. But um. These are really high. These are like for international aircraft. Because if you see here compared to the A320, you could eat it. But what you can do is you can pull these off. And then put them like this. And the landing gear pull off. Then you can use it for a regional base. Which is really cool. If I get the, um, the AJ-45 for example. Um, it fits pretty nicely on an aircraft like well okay that might be a little too big uh crj 700 for example here it fits really nicely on that and we'll look good at your airport so yeah really cool to get some um jetways with this pack so we'll put those to the side for now and then so bringing this back into focus we'll start off with our air stairs so first we have these massive air stairs which fit nothing too perfectly but definitely a cool addition to have at your airport um if we can get out the air normal air stairs we have these which should fit an a320 just fine so yeah that actually looks really nicely with the a320 and so um quick little review I mean, just basic details here. Not much. You can expect a small thing like this. But it does look really nice. And then next up here, we have our freight trucks. So first we have this normal little truck. I may at some point turn this into like a name brand something. If I get the time to or motivation to. But for now, it looks just fine. So we'll just make a little diorama here. Uh, next up, we have the semi, which would hands down look great at any cargo center at the airport or anything like that. Really good detail on the truck itself here. Definitely like that. We have our air cargo titles. Um, doesn't look like they detach. Oh, they do. Never mind. So you could even have it sitting like that, which is really cool. Turns nicely. So put that over there. Next up, we have the pushback tug. This is really cool how they just attached the uh, tow bar to it, to where it's stuck. Nothing special happening here, really, at all. Not too much detail. But definitely looks nice sitting in front of the aircraft. Um, next here, we have for the bigger aircraft, pushback or pull tug. This is really cool. This would fit any bigger aircraft absolutely great lots of detail there looking nice weird how some of them have good detail some of them just have okay detail but it does blend together all very well next up is something that i was extremely excited for that comes in this pack that is the lsg sky chef's catering truck so it does raise up and down like so looking really nice We'll pull it up to the aircraft here. Fits in really nicely. It's a little boxy, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna dump out the rest here. It's, it's kind of stuck in there. But um, right here we have a detached catering uh, baggage loader. Okay, there we go. So here's the baggage loader. Lots and lots of detail here. Looking very nice 
like the yellow accents with the black. Um, the only thing about this is it is very large compared to the aircraft. It's not quite correct to scale. For example, if I get the Gemini Jet Swan, um, you can see just how much larger it is than the Allegiant, I mean, than the JC Wings. So that's kind of weird, but it's, it's okay. I mean, it's GSE. Can't be too specific. And then next here we have the baggage carts and little trucks. So something really cool about this specific set is the carts actually interlock. So you can connect them like that so they don't fly all around your airport. I mean, it's not perfect, but it does work quite well. So we have two types. We have that type and then this type of cart. Definitely going to add a lot to an airport. I, I really like this about JC Wings because they give you a lot more for the price, which is pretty much the same as Gemini, and you get so much more in this set. Maybe not to the same level of detail, but it's still very nice of um, GC pieces. So this is a really cool addition to add to any airport, and I would definitely recommend it. But yeah, let's move on with this unboxing. So next, real quick, I thought we'd take care of these real quick. These are just some little packages. So these should be ramps, 3D printed ramps, that are going to be used for the airport. Uh, coming out soon which once again on my instagram you can see so I'll go ahead and take these out I can with one hand so yes there we go awesome so these are made to fit the a319 and just the 320 family so i'll get an a319 out here um i really want a ramp instead of the basic um stairs so this actually looks really good here. I may try to paint them or put some logos on them. But I mean, it's pretty basic. Just a ramp. And if you mix that with the air stairs, I think it makes just a great looking combo here. But look at that, just super cool. So just thought I'd do a quick, give you a quick look at that real quick. So there is that. And then next year, I have this package, um, got this for a really cheap price, this is just one to 400 marshallers, really nothing too cool about them, uh, they're just super cheap, so I figured I would get some, just to try them out, um, it's by Fantasy Wings, just some little marshallers, I don't know, I'll probably make another video on this, because there's not too many videos on them. Um, I think you can just stick them into your airport. Some basic little marshallers. So I'm not going to open this right now, but I figured I'd throw it in with the video. So there we have those. And then while we're on this note, go ahead and look at this box here. Uh, this is some jetways for my fictional airport and some new airports I'll have coming in the future. Just need some more gates. So here we have just the classic Gemini gates. Uh, some stickers. These are used. Um, guess it's all about saving money. And then we have some of the wide body gates. So, um, nice packing peanuts. Jeez. Um, so I'm not going to do a review on these because I'm pretty sure if you're watching this video, you probably have seen Gemini Jet Jetways. But yeah, so we've got some more of those. It's going to be really beneficial to the airport. So yeah, that is that. And we will get on to the final two boxes. Okay, so right here we have my first order from the Alaska Company store. And there's something very special in this box. Um, my first Gemini 1-200. to 200. So we'll get this cracked open here. So first up out of the box, we have the Alaska 737-900 in the One World livery and then the alaska 737-900 in the i don't know what you want to call it do what right do what's right livery and i also got this keychain you know it's like i think two bucks so i figured i'd throw that on a book bag or something uh packing information 
And then here we have the 1 to 200 model. So yeah, really cool there. Get this box out of the way. So here is the 1 to 200 model. We'll do this one first. Uh, we can get it out of the, out of the wrapping here. Just one second. There's the box. Absolutely enormous. Box wise. I mean, here's compared to the normal Gemini box. So, that is that. Um, let's take a look around here. There we have the side of the box. 737-900. As real as it gets. Really cool with the gold lettering there. It just makes it feel way nicer. Really nice image there. But yeah, let's get into this. So we'll pop it off here and open it up. So right here we have our stand, which we can put together in a little bit. So we get those pieces out. So we can see the tail of the aircraft here. Now we'll go ahead and lift this up. This foam packaging. Get that out of the way. And here's the aircraft. So right here we have the landing gear. Put that to the side. And here's the model itself. So... I'm gonna come back to this. I'm gonna put the stand together so we have something to put it on. So be right back. All right, so here we go. Got the stand put together. And then we'll take the model out of the box here. There we go. Get this out of the way. Okay, maybe if we can. Yep, there we go. Okay, cool. So here is the model. First reaction is a very nice looking model. Great level of detail. So we'll get into the review real quick. So first off, we have the front of the aircraft. And just going down the side. Really cool livery. I really like this one. I just, I don't know, black is definitely my favorite color. So anytime I see that on an aircraft, I definitely think it's really cool. Here we have the winglets, just basic black winglets. Then on the inside we have Chester. So we'll take a look running down the uh, side one more time. Uh, you can see the titles there, looking really cool. Welcome aboard, Alaska Airlines. The detail is just outstanding on this model. So yeah, there's the overview. Uh, no point of doing really review on this, as you can see here, you get it. Now I'm going to throw the gear on real quick and show you it on the ground. Alright, so here we are, we got the gear put in. Uh, really nice detail on the gear here. You can actually turn it, which is really cool to see. Uh, nice engine detail. Get the focus here. Let's see. Yeah, so as you can see in there, really cool. Just really cool. This is my first one to 200, so I'm pretty pretty blown away. Also, I did not know this, but it comes with the gear up configuration as well. So I'll definitely try that out later. But yeah, really cool model with Gemini Jets. And I'll come back to this and do a comparison of the one to 400 and one to 200. So we will revisit this in a moment. So while we're on the note of this livery, I'll go ahead and do the one to 400. Classic Gemini box, nothing really happening there. Go ahead and crack it open. Looking good, nothing broken so far. Uh, get it out of the packaging here. Wow, really like this. These colors, they just really look nice on the 737. So here is the aircraft. Okay. So this aircraft. Uh, Looking nice. Go ahead and start the review here. We have the nose of the aircraft with the cockpit. Nice detail on the landing gear doors. L1 door. These little messages. You can't quite make it out on the 1 to 400, but you can on the 1 to 200. Uh, uh, the commitment titles. The people's heads blending in really nice. The UNCF logo on the engines here. Chester on the winglets. Wi Fi dome, antennas. The gray Alaska logo on the back is just really, really nice detail here. Really like that about the model. Registration in 4 in 2 as On the back here, 
split skimmer tar is looking really nice. You have your cargo doors on this side. And then here's the bottom of the aircraft. With that gray line running down the middle. Or brown. I don't, what is that? Yeah, gray, gray. So that's cool. Nice little detail there. And you have the colored landing gear. Looking really nice. So great. Solid model by Gemini Jets. That's the side. And then next we have the One World. Classic Gemini box as always. So let's get this cracked open. Here is the model. And the One World livery. Just really cool to go from the dark colors to light colors. Let's start the review here. Nose, One World titles, or logo, sorry, my bad. L1 door, landing gear door, member of One World Alaska. Looking really nice. Just awesome. Engines looking amazing. Split skimitar looking really nice. Have our exits here. Wi-Fi dome antennas. Registration in 487AS. With your American flag and Chester on the back there smiling away. The view down the middle. The view from the other side with the cargo doors. And the view from the bottom. Uh... This is actually a really good looking model. I'll definitely be using this in a lot of updates. All the ones I can. This is definitely a really nice model to see here. But um, more excitingly, I'll put this guy to the side. Really good, really, really good model. Here we have the comparison of the 1 to 400 to 1 to 200 models. This is honestly something I've wanted to do for quite a while. And I'm glad to finally get around to it. So. If you've ever wondered the size difference. There you go. That is 1 to 400 to 1 to 200. Pretty much double the price if you think about it. Maybe a little bit more from the 1 to 200. But yeah. Really cool comparison here. This is always a shot I've wanted to have. Of just two different scaled aircraft but the same livery, so finally accomplished that. Yeah, really great models by Gemini Jets. Really glad to have these in my collection. But uh, real quick, we're just gonna do the unboxing of this keychain. I always bought models from the Alaska Company store, so I figured I'd try something else out. So I got this little keychain. Uh, here we have, this is by Darren, by the way. So here we have it. Nothing really happening here except Chester. If I'm gonna put some on my book bag, just a really cool little keychain to have. So good job by, I guess, Darren on this keychain. But yeah, that's the Alaska haul. And let's get on to our last box. Alright, guys, so this is definitely the highlight of the video. Chances are, if you're here, this is the biggest reason. So uh, before I open this box and show y'all what's inside, this was a guy on. Uh, Instagram was selling his collection and so I picked up quite a few models from him some of which are very rare so I'm really excited to get into this and add these models to my collection so open it up here very excited about this one so man we'll start off with the GSE so right here we have the 1 to 400 Gemini G GSE I'm kind of a geek when it comes to GSE I just really like it and the way it uh, adds to your airport Next up is the SkyWest CRJ700. This is by no means rare yet, but um, it is getting harder to find, so I figured I'd pick it up from him for a good price. Got it. Like, also to mention, these were all for an amazing price. So, American uh, CRJ900. This was, this is a really model I've been needing. Um, and then also the Delta CRJ900. So excited for all three of these CRJs. Just some great models. And then looking into the box here. Hawaiian A330-200. My first Hawaiian aircraft. Frontier A321. Uh, Aero Mexico 737-800. I was going to buy the NG version, but then I saw he had this for sale for a really good price. So I just picked it up instead. It's a great model. Um... And then next here we have the WestJet 737 MAX 8. 
to add to my West Jet collection. And then the final four aircraft are these Delta aircrafts, which we'll get into in a little bit. But yeah, let's start real quick. We'll get this started. Here's the box. And the back of the box shows the GSE on here. Put that to the side. And then we're here with the GCC itself and the stickers. So yeah, uh, let me open this up real quick. I mean, this is your classic Gemini Jet GSC. It's looking all good. I'm going to do a video later on about comparing GSC from different brands. So y'all look out for that video. It'll probably come in the next few weeks. But uh, all I really care about is to see if this is broken or working. And it works. Sweet. Or at least, yeah. Awesome. Okay, cool. So yeah, there is the Gemini Jets GSE pack. And so we'll put that away to the side because I don't think y'all really care about me opening that. But yeah, so we'll do the CRJ700 first. So first off, we'll go over the box real quick. Classic Gemini box. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Aircraft information. Box art. Uh, on. Generated image on the back here. And then all the Gemini Jets stuff. 2021 Gemini Jets. So yeah, that is that. And then here is the model. So i uh, just taking a quick look here. Looking like a really nice model. Uh, if we can get the focus on the front here. So yeah, really nice detail. That, that's something I like about Gemini Jets. They do a really good job of getting the detail on these smaller aircraft. Like so we see here. So starting off the front here, we'll just work our way down the aircraft. Looking really good. Really love those uh, SkyWest logos. Wings looking absolutely fantastic. That detail on the wing right here, I don't... I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but that is just stunning. Registration, registration in 604SK. And here we have the rear of the aircraft with the beautiful SkyWest tail. Uh, so there is the aircraft. Take a look from the front, from the side, and then the bottom of the aircraft. So yeah, not too much happening there, but um, I mean, just look at the detail in the front. Man. That's so cool to see. Great job by Gemini Jets. Really cool model. So glad to have this one in my collection. Okay, so next up we have the CRJ7, oh, sorry, 900 Delta Connection. Here at the box. Really cool. I'm so glad to have this aircraft. Um, it like came out right when I stopped collecting and I just didn't even try to get it. And so, to have this aircraft back in my collection, I am beyond lucky. But yeah, so we'll just get a quick view of the aircraft here. So we have the front. Looks like we got a little paint chip on the cockpit, but that looks completely fine. It just kind of blends in there. Uh, moving our way down the aircraft, CRJ900. Delta connection. Our baggage doors. Wings with, once again, outstanding detail. Registration in 821SK. Our two emergency exits and then a cargo door by the engines engines themselves oh uh, looks like we got some paint chipping right here on the engine or is that some dust let's find out nope so it looks like it's paint chipping but that's fine for now whatever uh delta tail looking really nicely there uh take a look from the front down looking nice and then from this side of the aircraft Beautiful, 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 looking awesome. Really pleased with this model. Definitely will plan on adding more of these to my collection later on, but for now, one will do. So yeah, that is the Delta CRJ900 by Gemini Jets. All right, next here we have the American CRJ900. Uh, same box as always, so I'm not gonna spend time on that. But uh, here we have the model. Uh, Definitely need this aircraft for uh, any, most, like, regional or American airports with a decent American presence have a CRJ900 flying to them most of the time. So I thought this aircraft was a necessity. But, um, so here we have the details on the front, as you can see there. I'm not going to go into too much detail because, you know, it kind of starts repeating. American Eagle titles, great wing detail. Uh, registration in 584NN. Uh, really cool caution 
detail they put there on the engine. I don't know if the camera can pick that up too well. And then the rear of the aircraft. Really good looking model. Case on the front and from the side. Very cool model. And from the bottom. No paint. I really like the back there. How they made that happen. Uh, no paint chipping on this model, thankfully. So, definitely so pleased to see that. And uh, yeah, overall, really great aircraft by Timothy. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to go back to that like hand holding where you can, I mean, not hand holding, where you can like actually see what I'm doing. So, let's pull out an aircraft. So, first aircraft we pulled out here is the Hawaiian A330. Uh, 200. So, here's a look inside the box. All the information. Uh, looking great. Love this box. I like the back here how instead of flying through the sky, it just has that purple background. Really nice touch. So let's get started here. By the way, these are all used models. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, but just so y'all know. Gonna pull it out of the box here. Put it to the side for a second. Oh, looks like we tap the winglet there. Alright, so. Uh, as I mentioned, this is my first Hawaiian model. So here we have the aircraft itself. Really cool to see the detail on these bigger planes. And the first big plane, or wide body plane, of this update. I mean, unboxing. So, let's get into the review here. Um, the nose is looking a little wonky. I don't know if that's just me, but not sure about that. So here we have the front. Uh, there's quite a bit happening here. We have the, uh, I'm not sure what that says on the front there. We have the Airbus A33200 logo on the bottom there. We have 380 on the landing gear door. Moving back, we have our Hawaiian titles and antenna. This is in the new, new livery, by the way, in case you were wondering. There we have the uh, Hawaiian lei, along with our wings. Great detail on the engine there. Uh, registration in 380HA. And then the tail here looking absolutely great. So here is the model. One last look before we move on to the front view. And the other side with those cargo doors. Love, love the detail there. This looks great. And then the rear here. And yeah, so that is the Hawaiian A330. And if we look on the bottom here, Give me one second. It's really cool because this model does actually have tilted landing gear. So look at that. Just like uh, real life. Except I think it actually goes the other way. So it'd be like that. Um, but really cool detail there. Seeing Jim and I put in that extra work. But yes, overall, great model. Uh, definitely glad to have this one in my collection. So now we're gonna go ahead and pull out the next model. Put this one to the side. Uh, I'm gonna pull up the Frontier A321. So here is the model. Uh, classic Gemini box. Aircraft information you can pause if you'd like to read. Back of the box, art, and the side. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box. It's kind of funny, I don't. I'm definitely going to be running out of shelf room, and I'm not too sure where I'm going to put all these models. I might have to buy a new shelf, because definitely going to be out of room after this unboxing. This was quite the addition to my collection. So here we have the model. Get a closer look here. Uh, here we go. Just, I'm not going to talk too much. Just take in some views of the model. We'll walk, we'll walk the way down. So uh, right here, we have the front nose and the uh, Steve the Eagle livery. We have our Frontier titles. Really good looking winglets. Go ahead and mention that. So that's definitely cool. Flyfrontier.com. Registration. n 709 fr American. And then... Steve the Eagle in the back here. Really, really good looking model. I was a bit hesitant at first because I'd rather just get a 320, but they do use a 321 on 
quite a bit of routes, so I thought I'd pick it up because why not? Then we get the side here. The tail just looks really, really good. If we can get the focus on. Maybe. Yeah, anyways. Really good model by Gemini. Then here we have the bottom. Looking really good. So yeah, another great model by Gemini Jets. I've been really fortunate this unboxing hasn't have anything broken yet, at least. We'll see here. Still got a couple models to go through. So yeah, we'll put this uh, Frontier A321 to the side, move on. So, uh, next model up here, the WestJet 737 MAX 8. It does have the 20th anniversary box of Gemini Jets. Right here is the model. This camera does not like to focus. I apologize for that. So yeah, we'll take a closer look in a moment. Um, so I did get all the narrow body Geminis and like regionals for $35. And then the little bit, the wide bodies were $40, except the A330s were 45. So, I mean, not, not a bad deal. I mean, these, some of these are pretty hard to find models. So definitely not complaining. So right here we have the WestJet 737 Max 8. So let's get started here. Uh, wow. I just love WestJet delivery. I don't, I don't know what it is about it, but it just really appeals to me. Perfect on the aircraft. Really good detail. It looks like we have a bit of paint smudge right there above the wing. That's, that's too bad. That one stands out a bit more than the previous one. But uh, then here we have our winglets. Really good detail. Registration CFRAX, the Canadian flag, 737-8, MX-8. We have our Wi-Fi dome, antennas, and then the tail here. It stands out very good. This is a really cool one. Uh, down the middle. The other side of the aircraft, and then the rear. So yeah, another great model. Take a look at the bottom here. Get the focus. So yeah, great model by Gemini Jets. Uh, the only complaint is that paint smudge, but um, I'll live with it. So yeah, definitely excited to add this one to my collection. Let's keep on moving here. After one last look at the WestJet Max 8. If it will focus. Cool beans. Alright. So moving on here. Our last model before the Delta uh, models. Air Mexico 738. I have been looking for this model for quite some time. I really like this model. It looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, I'm really excited for this one. Oh yeah. So here is the model. Wow. Great model. Can't wait to uh, get the review going on this one. But yeah, classic Gemini packaging and box. So yeah, let's get into it. So... Looking at the aircraft here, just, wow. Really, really great detail. So yeah, uh, looking out the front here, we have our L1 door, Sky Team logo, Air of Mexico. That nice red line going through it. Really cool winglet detail here, along with the wings. Really good detail on the other side we have the uh we have the registration as well as right here xa amk and then the tail here along with the wi-fi dome it all just blends together so well this is such a great model just the colors are absolutely amazing um i did think about getting the ng model one but I mean, first of all save ten dollars by getting this one and second of all i think it's just an outstanding model Cargo doors there. 
We're moving along here. So yeah, really, really, really good model by Jim Jet. If you ever see this one up, I would definitely recommend buying it. Outstanding model. Really pleased with this one. So yeah. Now we'll move along to our next four aircraft, which are all Delta. One last look here. Great model. So, um, as I've mentioned, next few aircraft are going to be all Delta. So, we'll do these ones together. We have the 757-300 and the 757-200. So first we'll open up the 200. Here's the model. Put that to the side for a second. And then the 300. Wow. This, I'm, I'm really excited about this one. I feel like this may become one of my favorite models. Just, it's a really great aircraft, the 757-300. I really enjoy it every time I get to see this aircraft. So um, we'll start off the review with the 200 by Jim Jets. So let's get started here. Uh, Delta titles. Moving along. Oh, is that in focus? There, that's better. So we have our Delta titles. The nose looking very nice. And then moving back here, our doors, engines, landing lights, winglets. Uh, keep moving on here. We have the Wi-Fi dome, which is really cool. That just looks really good for some reason. Antenna registration in 551NW. And then our Delta tail. So yeah, that is your Delta 757-200. Flip it around here. The view from the front looking down. That just looks so good. And then moving along to the other side here. We have our cargo doors up here. Yeah, really, really good looking model. But even more excitingly for me, let's get into the 757-300. So, moving at the front here, we have the Delta Titles, landing gear, lots of detail going on around the door here. Wi-Fi box at the front instead of the rear, like on the 200. Antenna, it's a pretty big one. I like that. Uh, we have our engines, our doors, winglets. Is that a hair? Let's see here. Looks like we do have a bit of a paint smudge right there. That's alright. Paint chip, whatever. Uh, landing gear, looking nice. Registration in 581NW. And our Delta tail. So this is the Delta 757-300. There's a look down the middle. Look from the other side. I yeah, this is this is a great model. Jim and I really crushed it on this one. And then here we have the bottom of the aircraft with our Delta titles. So yes, real quick, I thought we should do a comparison of the 757 300 to 200. So there is kind of if you're wondering the size difference. You can also throw it over here just to kind of get the idea. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you've made it this far. First of all, thank you. But which one is your favorite? So yeah, let's keep uh, let's keep moving along here. Uh, next we'll do the seven six seven. Just moving up the line. So let's see here. Oh, let's see. Let's see three. So here's the seven six seven. So fun fact: I've actually flown on this aircraft. So I've been looking for it for quite a while to find it. Really made me happy. So for a good price that is. So here is the model. I actually flew on this plane from Salt Lake City to Atlanta, not too uh, not too long ago. So yeah, really cool to add a model to your collection that you've actually flown on. So let's go over here and take a closer look. Alright, so first off I noticed 
All right, guys, I'm sorry about that. My phone did die. But, uh, so yeah, let's get into the review here. Uh, so here we have the Delta logo with the nose. Put in there, remove that. There's a Wi-Fi dome. It's really cool looking. I like that. Engine. Winglets. Um, he did have the version without winglets, but, um, I'm not even sure how long these aircraft will be around for, so... I just figured to get this one. Registration N173DZ. And then our tail here. This is just a really cool looking model. I really like the 767, honestly. Definitely one of my favorite aircraft. And then on this side, a little bit of a cooler view with the cargo doors. In the front and along the back. And then we'll take a look at the bottom here. We have our Delta logos. The gear stand and the Gemini Jet logo. It's a really cool aircraft. Uh, landing gear is looking good. So yes, very nice aircraft. So happy to add this one to my collection. So we're gonna put this one aside and get into the last and final aircraft of this unboxing. Okay, and so here we are, we have made it to the final aircraft. Finally, we have the Delta A330-300. Uh, I really want the A330-200, but uh, I'm going to wait on that one for a bit. We have a little hold the box up back here. It's too bad. And then we uh, have a look on the inside here. But uh, yeah, let's get into the model. So here we have it. It comes with the A330-300. So let's get started here. In the front, we have the Delta titles, the antenna. Then if we move back, our second door, our engines, landing gear looking nice, wings looking nice, our winglets, uh, the door, registration in 823NW, and our tail to tail. So uh, that's, that is A330. Take a look at the other side here. It's the front view, and then a look from the other side. With the cargo doors. Very nice. Well, I'm just going to do a quick size comparison with the A350. So if we look over here at the collection, we'll grab the A350. Uh, so this was actually one of my first models, A350. So as you can see here, kind of the size comparison between the two. The A350. It's honestly quite a large aircraft. I don't think a lot of people noticed that at first, but it really is a big aircraft. So that's just for a quick size comparison. But yeah, here is the Delta A330-300. Great model. Uh, not like, I mean, I don't know. Part of it seems kind of boring in a way. I'm sure the A330-900 would be a lot Probably a lot better looking to most people. Um, there's something about this that's kind of kind of boring looking, but it is a really good model with pretty good detail. So no complaints there. I do wish they had a Wi-Fi box instead of just the outline. But besides that, it's a really great model by Gemini Jets. Alrighty, you guys. So that does conclude this video. Um, I'm definitely glad to be back to YouTube, and I will be back for a while. Uh, I do have school though, so I'll be kind of busy, but, um, I will be putting out content, definitely not going away, and I'm definitely glad to be back and add all these models to my collection, so I'll just do a brief overview of everything in the unboxing, so just enjoy that for a moment. Alright guys, so that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please drop a like, share, try to get up to uh, 100 subscribers. By the uh, end of the month is the goal, hopefully, but we'll see. So anyways, 
Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Comment down below your favorite aircraft or anything. But uh, yeah.